We are about to have some fun around here. Stephanie Wise is the creator of the popular food blog called Girl vs. Dough. She's also the author of a new cookbook that we've got right over here. It's called Comfort Baking, Feel Good Food to Savor and Share. I like that, feel good food. She specializes in making cooking simple. Right now, the ultimate challenge, can she make it simple enough for me to be able to do it? Please welcome Stephanie Wise. Thank you, Stephanie, for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. We're gonna make a cake for we, Valentine's. We are, yes. We're gonna make a white chocolate peppermint crunch cake. White chocolate peppermint crunch, it sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. I see the finished yep, version, the but finished we're, version you're gonna show us how we get to that. Yes, so we will just get right into it. We are gonna, well, you are going to start with the flour. Okay. And the uh, baking powder and salt. So we put start, it in this bowl. Put it in there, and then you'll use this whisk. Mm. And just mix that together. Okay. So we're starting with the dry ingredients. This as well. Yep. The baking powder. The baking powder and the salt. Okay. Just whisk that together. All right. Till that's all nice and mixed. Uh, that, mm -hmm. I'm there, really good at so this. So far, by you're the doing way. great. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. You're doing a great job. Yes. Okay. So the next step is we're going to be using the stand mixer over there. So mm. we're going to combine butter and okay. shortening in the stand mixer. Oh, in this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, we're actually going to do it, aren't oh, we? We are doing it, yes. <laughs> well, this little doodad didn't hook yeah, up. Yeah, I know. I know they didn't. Should we do it? I think, yeah. Oh, we're going to have to we, do it, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we got okay. to make this cake, so. <laughs> all right, that's all right. in there. It's okay. Yep. All the butter? All that butter. There's a hey, lot. Hey, two full sticks of butter. Of butter in this recipe. No wonder it's good. <laughs> all right. When you use that much butter. It's gonna be it's good. It's gonna be it? really good. Okay, so then How we're gonna lift this up. Aha. Uh -huh. Stick that up. Mm. We made it an engineer. <laughs> okay. okay, so then we're gonna just mix that just a little bit. All right. And that'll take it, that takes a few minutes usually. Okay. But for the sake of, you know, time here, we can keep going. So once that is mixed together, you're gonna be adding three cups of sugar. Three cups of sugar. <laughs> We got some Southerners in the house. Yeah. yeah, we do. It's very, yeah. Put it in yet? special occasion. Yep, slowly put it in there. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Mm. And this is called creaming. So we're um, making sure that the butter, the shortening, and the sugar are all working together. Um, it helps the sugar <laughs> dissolve and uh, get really mixed into the butter. So every single bite has a little bit of butter, a little bit of shortening, a little bit As of- As it should. Uh, yes, a little okay. bit of sugar. So once we've got that, we add five eggs. Okay, into the mixer? Yep, into the mixer. I Couple should crack eggs. them first, shouldn't I? Yeah, that might be good. Yeah, you might want to do that. Am I good or what, <laughs> huh? Five eggs, $3,000. One actually got in oh, there. No. If it's a little crunchy, you'll know I think know that why. little rascal's in there. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You know, a chef I work with has okay. said that you need to add one whole egg with the, the shell to know that it was homemade. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, that's going to keep me from getting the job that I've always wanted at the Waffle House. <laughs> Which, by the way, it, it is my happy place. I love it. Yeah, it's good. But I don't know that they're going to let me crack eggs. Uh, there. Really used to not be this bad at it. Doing, and you're doing and it's so only, hand. Too. It's only on the half shell, Stephanie, it's, it's so right. it's not it's the full right. thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we're going to add buttermilk, regular milk, mm. and then this is a mixture of peppermint extract and vanilla extract. So that's where the peppermint gets okay. uh, added to the mix. I love buttermilk mm -hmm. in any recipe. Mm -hmm. And put this in here. And, and that as well. Mm -hmm. All right. The recipe is going to be on our website so people can try to make this before thanks, uh, before Valentine's. Valentine's Day. Not Thanksgiving. <laughs> now what do we do? Now we add the, the flour. So oh. we probably want to stop the mixer so it doesn't go flying everywhere. Oh, that would be fun. We'd yeah. aim it over a tray. <laughs> so just so yeah, put all just of this put in there. Just put that in there. You can. You know, the audience should at least go, ooh, <laughs> ah, ooh. Yes. This bowl is kind of hard I know, to get it in is there. A big, it is, it's That's a, a big piece. bowl, darn. Yeah. yeah, yeah! Now we're talking. We All right. Okay, now we're we push this little dude back in there and yep. turn her on to what, two? Just the low, the, yeah, as low as possible. because That's as low really as it goes there. right yep. there. So then that's gonna mix together until it forms a batter. Okay. Then you would end up, you would pour that into these cake pans. We have three mm -hmm. eight-inch cake pans. 
we're going to skip that stuff. Just we're going to skip <laughs> right to the good stuff, yeah. aren't we? And so right. then we've got the three cakes right here. Okay. And this is the frosting, which we we have some of the ingredients laid out. Now, are you so sure that if I do this cake, it's going to look like that when it comes mm. out of the oven? I think it. Yes, I think there's it could real be. hope for that. Yeah. Okay. I, good. I have confidence. Love it. Yes. Right. Yep. So we already have the frosting ready to go, but it's a white chocolate frosting. So you melt white chocolate mm. chips. Okay. And then you would cream the powdered sugar and three sticks of butter. Three sticks of butter. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, my friend Paula Dean would love uh, this Paula, cake, wouldn't she? Yeah, she would. Five, Five sticks, sticks of butter. butter. <laughs> Highly recommended by your cardiologist, Yes, I'm sure. yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, and then awesome. that gets all mixed together. There's a little bit of vanilla as well. And it looks like this. So you have all this stuff, which all we'll that. have on the website. Yep. It's going to end up. That's it a lot. It ends up like that. It's yeah. turned into a small amount compared and then, well, to that. Well, uh, I know. It kind of... You, you didn't eat one down. of those sticks of butter before, <laughs> did you? Okay, so this Never is how it ends up. Yep. We've got the cake. Yep. Now and we frost it. Now we frost it. Do I get to do that? Yeah. You know, I was I, I can do meats and stuff, but I've never been good at baking. No, it's great. You're so great let's job. see. My wife will never let me paint anything for <laughs> what's about to be an obvious reason. Well, what's great about this cake is no matter what you like, how much frosting you put on there or how good you are at frosting it, there's plenty of sprinkles that will cover up all of the... See, I love the frosting. <laughs> so when I get the piece of cake, I eat the frosting part uh -huh. first. Uh -huh. Say, anybody want some of this cake? Uh -huh. I want to share. <laughs> now, you started a blog, and I said you went to journalism school, right? I did, yeah. That's my degree. Is in so how do you go school. from journalism school to running a food blog and writing mm -hmm. cookbooks? Yeah, I... I was a journalist for about two years, and it just didn't, it just wasn't the right fit for me. So my passion was really in baking and writing, and the blog was a good uh, mix of the two. And so I started that kind of on the side, and then it grew to be a career. And it's been 13 years now. Now, did your family, your mother, grandmother, did mm -hmm. they teach you how to do this stuff? They did, yes. My grandmother, my great-grandmother, you're doing a great job. <laughs> my, my mother and my grandmother. That's great. <laughs> That's really good. My grandkids would be licking uh -huh, this right here. Uh -huh. So Can usually... Yes. Usually in between the layers, we would put some sprinkles as well. So that's where oh, some okay. of the crunch comes in. But I did not have the time <laughs> because of television yep. to do it as nicely as I would like to have done it. But this is, it would look like that. Yeah. So and then just, you sprinkle the little doodads on there. Sprinkle the doodads on there. Yes. Just yep. to show everyone just, that I yeah, can. There you go. There we go. You went right Very for the pink nice. ones. I like that. Yeah. yeah. It's still going to taste. I'll save a few of these for you. Yeah. Thanks. Not the cake, but the sprinkles, okay? <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Okay. Looks yeah. like we have a pots. finished product, but I want to know, do we get a piece of the cake? Oh, yes, we absolutely okay. get a piece of the cake. Well, if you want to find Stephanie Wise's Girl vs. Dough blog with hundreds of very easy recipes like you've seen here tonight, and to get her great new cookbook called Comfort Baking, just go to Huckabee.tv. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Since you made it here to the end, that must mean you like the video. So you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell below. But if you really hated it, just click the like button three times.